This is Baloi Bridge in Marawi City. At the height of the war, it is one of the three critical bridges in the battle area. It has seen a lot of fighting and death. It's still day one of the siege, but it is already close to midnight. First Lieutenant Geraldo Alvarez takes two armored vehicles and 19 men with him to rescue a wounded officer and bring in reinforcement troops. Paglabas ko ma'am dun sa ano ma'am sa brigade. Uh, ano na ma'am, ma'am nakakahinala na lahat ng paligid ma'am. The bullets come flying as soon as they reach Baloi Bridge. Yun nga lang ma'am habang nagmumuba ko dun sa tulay may hinarang silang sasakyan. So dun sa sasakyan na yun nagkataon ma'am na kayang-kaya namang banggain ng tanki ko ma'am. So binangga ko siya. Nakapasok ma'am yung tanki. Inside enemy territory, he learns that military armor can only do so much against rocket-propelled grenades or RPG. Kailangan kong umatras. Kaya nung nangaatras na ako ma'am, uh, doon may parang uh, minaso na ma'am yung vehicle ko ma'am na, na RPG na pala ako ma'am. Hindi pa ako nakakalayo ma'am ng mga ano, uh, nasira na ma'am yung vehicle, hindi na gumana. So pag hindi na gana ma'am, sinundan naman nila kami ma'am. So pagkasunod sabi ko, uh, kailangan nating lumabas ng tanki. Thus begins the biggest battle of their lives. Their training, his leadership, are put to the test. Nawala na yung usok doon sa vehicle, nakita ko na yung situations nila. So doon na, na yung isa nakahandusay mama. Nung paghila ko si late private for last, pag sinasandal ko siya, humiwalay man ma'am yung bewang niya kasi noon. So idinikit ko na lang ma'am. They apply first aid on each other while they repel the attacks. Kahit na yung mga bulag ma'am, so sila ma'am yung... Uh, Pumuputo, kumbaga sinait ko muna ma'am yung ano nila, yung baril nila. Sabi ko, wag na nilang galawin, kakalabitin nila lang, gamitin nyo na lang yung signs, uh, sense of hearing nyo. The rescuers need rescuing, but by then troops can't cross Baloi Bridge anymore. Yung isang tropa ko ma'am na may putol ng paa, sabi niya, sir, uh, uhaw na uhaw na ako. Uh, dahil ano hindi man uh, pagka ganun na masyado na yung wounded niya hindi masyadong pinapainom so parang uh, deep deep lang ng konti ganun kung so, sumikot na naman ako ng sector kaso pagbalik ko na naman sa kanya uh, parang inaayos na lang niya yung sarili niya hanggang sa yun uh, parang nalagutan na siya ng hininga a chopper comes for them but enemy snipers force the pilots to leave alvarez and his men take cover inside houses nearby they try to restore the vehicle but to no avail. They are on their own for days. Kami ma'am yung ano doon, bumabagbag. Hanggang sa napagod na ma'am yung, ano, yung gunner ko ma'am. Kasi nag, yung driver, jajaki yung palagi yan. Tapos yung gunner, sila lang yung uh, bumabagbag doon sa mga <laughs> snipers ma'am. They run out of bullets. The driver volunteers to get what's left in the other vehicle. Nung isasampan niya na doon sa vehicle, tinamaan siya sa tagiliran ma'am. Nung tinamaan siya tagiliran ma'am, nakapasok pa siya ma'am sa loob ng vehicle. So nakapag-jacking pa, sabi ko okay lang, okay, hindi ga anong malala yung tama niya ma'am. Kaya lang napansin namin ma'am, yung jacking niya, yung atras sa banti niya, iba na. Hanggang sa niradyohan na ako ma'am na, ano, na nalagutan na siya ng hininga ma'am. So yung nagamit, nadala niyang bala ma'am, yun ma'am yung naka, ano, nakapatay ma'am dun sa mga pilit na lumalapit ma'am dun sa amin ma'am. Enemies burn the houses troops are occupying. Alvarez loses another man to enemy snipers. Bumalik ma'am yung ano yung air force. Pinakawalan niya ma'am yung ano yung rocket niya dun sa north ko tapos dun sa may east portion ko. So ano ma'am at least natamemi ma'am yung mga kalaban dun ma'am. After several failed attempts, rescue finally comes on the fifth day. Sumisigaw sila la tropa, tropa hanggang nagpapaulan din sila ng bala ma'am. Bullets rain on them as they move towards the extraction point, where choppers are waiting. Na dun kami nakita-kita, so yun na halos din na nila makilala kasi panay parang uling na yung itsura ko nun, ma'am. Alvarez brings home 15 of the 19 men he brought with him, a remarkable achievement in the battlefield. He is nominated to receive the highest combat award, the Medal of Valor. Piling ko tinulungan talaga kami ng Diyos kasi parang inilayo kami talaga, ma'am. Sa mga tama ng balas. It will take the military two months to regain control of Baloi Bridge. The bloodiest day of the war happened here when 13 Marines died on June 9, 2017.